OmniStar Web is a project aimed at building a truly decentralized web, owned and operated by individual users and free software programmers, based on its novel and unique Trimedia business model, which is an abbreviation for training, infrastructure, metaprogramming, and digital assets. OmniStar Web most important innovation is OmniHash, a 53-bit hash number encoded in base 64 string, around 12 characters long, as decentralized identifiers of users, digital assets and infrastructure, thereby monetizing these digital assets and infrastructure. This means anyone with a mobile phone or computer at home will be able to set up OmniStar Web servers on their mobile device or computer, bypassing domain name system at zero costs, and even start earning money using OmniHash to record their server operation statistics. In this video, we shall show how you may set up your own globally accessible web server without domain name system in just four simple steps. Step 1, install I2P, Invisible Internet Project, Router and set up browser proxy. Step 2, Set up HTTP tunnel without SSL. Step 3, set up HTTPS tunnel, with SSL. Step 4, run Apache SSL script to generate SSL key in certificate. Here we show step 1 install I2P, invisible internet project, router and set up browser proxy. Firstly download i2p install 2.6.1 jar file from get i2p.net. Copy the java installation command. You will be prompted to select the language. Scroll up to see option 0 for English. Then type 0 and press enter. Type 1 and press enter to continue. The next screen is just free software license notice. Type 1 and press enter to continue. Next specify the installation directory. In this demo, the directory i2p already exists, so we specify a new directory i2p-2.6.1. Finally typo and press enter to continue. Type 1 and press enter to continue. Copy the highlighted text to execute I2P router after installation is finished. Type 1 and press enter to continue. We have finished installing I2P router. We will now run it, set up Firefox browser proxy and test connection to OmniStar web server. The first command to run from terminal is dot slash i2p router start. I 
I2P router will open the console page in the default browser. To set up the browser proxy, click on the top right three line button and select settings. Type proxy in the find in settings search box. Then click the settings button on the right side of network settings. Click on the bullet next to manual proxy configuration. Key the, the parameters as shown, which you may copy from the description section of this YouTube video. It is important to add crucial sites to no proxy for section, which you may copy from the description section too. Now open OmniStar GitHub start page at omnixtar.github.io slash oaxw. Click on the big green button labeled I2P. You will be redirected to OmniStar web server page with a very long I2P address. We have completed step 1 out of 4 which was the installation of I2P router and setting up Firefox browser proxy, and opening test connection to OmniStar web server. In this section, we shall demonstrate step 2 that is to set up a HTTP tunnel without SSL. Scroll down to the first row of icons and click on Hidden Services Manager. This is also called Tunnel Manager and Tunnel is the name given to unconventional internet server connections that bypass the mainstream domain name system. As you can see, we have already set up two tunnels, one for HTTP without SSL at port 80 and one for HTTPS with SSL at port 443 respectively. The operation of these tunnels can be switched on or off manually or automatically. The red dot in the status column indicates the tunnel is switched off. It can be turned on by clicking the start button. Next we will show how you may create a HTTP tunnel without SSL. Scroll down a little until you see a create button on the right side of the screen, with the text new hidden service and HTTP in the pull down menu. Admittedly, the terms such as hidden service can be a little confusing as we think the term tunnel is much clearer and should be standardized. After clicking the create button, you will see new server settings at the top, and you would fill in the default port 80, followed by name and description. Scroll to the bottom and click save. The new tunnel with the name AO5 and so on has been created. The destination field is the I2P address which needs to be copied and pasted into the address bar of the browser to open it. We have completed step 2 of 4 which was to create a HTTP tunnel without SSL. Next we shall demonstrate how to create a HTTPS tunnel with SSL. This is very crucial as most web connections require cryptographic services. Click on the name AO3 OmniStar Web HTTPS to look at the existing parameters before we create a new tunnel. Note the port number 443. 
Most importantly, the tunnel type is standard server, instead of HTTPS or whatever, which we believe might just be a user interface oversight, meaning the programmers are simply too busy with coding without paying too much attention to correct the name of the type on this setting page. Scroll to the bottom and click Cancel to return to the Tunnel Manager page. Then click the pull down menu next to the create button and choose standard, then click create to create a new HTTPS tunnel. Fill in the name and description, followed by the default port 443. Scroll to the bottom and click save. You will see a new tunnel with the name starting with A06 at port 443 has been created, also with a long I2P address which can be copied and pasted to the address bar in the browser to open it. Finally click the start button for A03 HTTPS tunnel to activate it. The next and last step after creating HTTPS tunnel with SSL is the most important but also the most confusing due to inconsistent documentation all over the internet. This step is to generate SSL key and certificate and activate them for the Apache 2 web server. The commands can be downloaded from the link given in the description section of this YouTube video. In this video, we show how the script file can be downloaded from Omnistar GitHub account in order to help new users to familiarize themselves with Omnistar web ecosystems. Click on the raw button on the right side of the page to show the contents of the Apache SSL script file in raw format. You will see that it consists of four lines each with self-explanatory comment. We arrived at this concise script after many experimentations, as you will appreciate if you survey and compare similar text or video tutorials on the internet. Copy and paste these instructions in Ubuntu terminal or similar environment and execute them. Pay careful attention to the double-headed T-shaped cursor in red on the screen. We are now copying the I2P address by pressing the left button on the mouse pad and dragging it to the end. Due to perhaps some design oversight, the highlighted text is difficult to notice as the background color black is not changed, although the highlighted text is shown in brighter white if you look at it carefully. Now paste the I2P address in the address bar of the browser. If you simply press enter without the prefix http colon slash slash, then most likely it will trigger a Google search. So remember to add the http colon slash slash prefix, and voila. The Firefox browser proxy setting will redirect the connection to i2p router and retrieve the web page via a complex connection specified by the i2p protocol. As a dummy control test, we will just open the same web page using the local host direct connection. Now, we will copy the I2P address of the HTTPS tunnel with SSL and test it. Remember to prefix it with HTTPS colon slash slash, that is HTTP with an extra S at the end. Again, we do a dummy control test with direct local host connection using HTTPS.
thus completes our demo of setting up your own globally accessible web server in four simple steps, by passing the domain name system. You have just overcome the first and most important hurdle to build a truly decentralized web, owned and operated by you, one of the individual users and free software programmers of OmniStar Web. As an Easter egg gift for all viewers, we shall show how you may use curl to connect to I2P web servers using the minus X proxy option. As veteran programmers would know, this is essentially the most important building block to implement a truly decentralized web shell.